have always struggled with my weight and how my body looks, and I still do to this day. I'm always self-conscious of my body, and I never have great body confidence, but now all that has changed. I love my body for the way it is. I look so much better than I did before, and I am living a healthier lifestyle. I have lost 10 pounds in the past month, and now I'm going to tell you guys how I did it. Let me just start off. I would take pictures all the time to compare my body to what it looked like before, which I'm not promoting because it's a bad thing to do because your body is going to change over time. Also, everybody's body is different. What helped me lose weight might not help you, but it might help other people. So this is what I looked like before, and this is what I look like now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel, or back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley. What's up? Hello. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. As you guys probably already know, today's video is going to be how I lost 10 pounds in one month. Let's go ahead and get into the video. If I'm ever looking at my phone, it's because I wrote some notes on my phone, like to say in this video and stuff like that. So yeah. So first of all, we're gonna start with my backstory. I was never like a super active person, but I did do dance since I was about like three, but it was like on and off, but I've been doing dance for about eight years now, I'm pretty sure. And I did cheer for one year, which was in fourth grade. So I was working out at least two to three days a week since I was pretty little, but it wasn't like super intense work because I was dancing and a cheerleader so it's not like I was like working out at the gym and stuff like that but when I was about 11 12 and like 13 I started working out more recently at a gym because my grandma got a gym membership and I would always just go with her I would really just go on the treadmill and then I would just go on like any machines I didn't really know what the machines would do but like I would just go on them because like they would look cool and stuff you know I never really ate super healthy as a teen as a child or anything like that my diet wasn't very like I didn't have a diet it was just whatever I felt like eating or like whatever my parents made for me and stuff like that I would always have midnight snacks and I would binge a lot and I really wouldn't control my eating I also would eat just whenever I'm bored I would have a lot of like binge eating sessions which is really bad if you guys don't know what binge eating is you should research it I know a lot of people experience binge eating like the disorder but I think I might have had the binge eating disorder and yeah. Another thing I would like to say is that I did have some really weird stomach issue problems. So my stomach would hurt a lot after I would eat, after literally anything, no matter what I was eating. Like if it was a salad, if it was junk food, ice cream, no matter what I'm eating, my stomach would always hurt after. Which it's been like that for a couple years. So I decided to go to a gastrologist, I'm pretty sure. It's basically like a stomach specialist and and he suggested that I start to cut milk and dairy out of my diet. So I did that for a while. That didn't help at all. It didn't really do anything. I did have fewer stomach aches, but I would have them like every other day, which is still not good. And they're just such bad like pain. It literally, you just feel like you're gonna throw up. You feel really nauseous. Like I didn't even want to dance because my stomach would hurt so bad, but my stomach would hurt every day. So like there was nothing I could do about it. Tums wouldn't help, Pepto I don't know how to say that. That wouldn't help, anything like that. It just wouldn't help my stomach aches and it would hurt so bad. And cutting dairy out did help them a little bit, like I said, but I would still have them like every other day instead of every day which is better, but it would still hurt so, so bad. The next step after cutting dairy out was to stick a tube with a camera down my throat to look inside my stomach. And I was just not about that. That just scares the crap out of me. Like I'm not about to have a camera and a tube down my throat. That just seems really scary. So I kind of just had to live with it and deal with it. And now they don't happen as often, but I do still have stomach aches here and there. I don't really know what helped them to go away and stuff. I really have no idea. They just kind of like gradually went away. So, I mean, that's good, I guess. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tips that helped me lose weight and what I did. So the first thing I did is I cut out midnight snacking. So if I was ever craving something like after 10 or like 9.30 p.m., I wouldn't eat it. All like those foods that you just put into your stomach before going to bed, is gonna turn into fat because you're not burning it off. You're not walking to burn it off. You're not exercising and stuff like that. So I really tried to cut that out first. The next thing I did is I tried working out. So I just tried working out a couple times a week. I started off by just running on the treadmill because I have a treadmill at my house. Um, if you guys can, you can go to a gym, but I know like a lot of gyms don't give memberships to people under like 18 or something like that, 
which really sucks because teenagers want to work out but you can always just work out at home without any things but if you do a yoga mat is super helpful and weight sometimes really just depends on what you're trying to do if you're trying to get bulkier if you're trying to get more toned if you're trying to lose weight if you're trying to lose fat and stuff like that but I did two workout programs so far I did the Chloe Ting abs in two weeks shred challenge if I remember I'll link it in the iCard over there I actually did a video on it and that's who I'll be linking in the iCard but yeah that's my process I also just got done doing the Chloe Ting abs in booty hourglass workout challenge and again if I remember I'll link it in the iCard over there I really like doing these programs because they keep you accountable because she has a like website it's like Chloe Ting Dot com or something like that every day you do something or you'll have like a rest day and it just keeps you accountable because you're like oh I need to get this done if I want to see the results another thing I did is intermittent fasting so if you guys don't know what intermittent fasting is I'm gonna try to explain it the best I can but basically for a certain amount of period you don't eat and then for another amount of period you do eat so for eight hours I would eat like when I'm hungry obviously not for a whole entire eight hours I'd just be filling my mouth with food and then for 16 hours I wouldn't eat there's a lot more like different fasts you can do but if I were you I would not jump into a fast just like that what I would do instead is I would slowly do it so I would eat for like 12 hours and then for the other 12 hours I wouldn't eat and stuff like that and the fast can be while you're sleeping that's like the easiest thing to do because like when you're sleeping it's not like you can't eat you know because you're sleeping the app that is helping me and keeping me accountable for doing this intermittent fasting is the app zero so if you go into zero there's many different fasts that you can do the one I'm doing is a 16 to 8, like I said. There's a fast where it's 13 to 11. There's another fast that's 18 to 6, 20 to 4, and then a 36 hour fast, which means you don't eat for 36 hours, or you can do a custom fast. I like this a lot because what you do is you just start your 16 hour fast, and then it tells you when you started it, which I just like clicked the button, so it says I started at 1.29 p.m., and it says I can start eating at 5.29 in the morning since I'm doing the 16 hour fast. What I like to do is I like to start eating at 11.30 until 7.30 p.m., and then I don't eat from 7.30 p.m. until 11.30 in the morning. That's just the one I like to do because it's just like easiest for my body, and and that's just what I like to do. Just remember why you want to look better and why you want to lose weight. The reason I wanted to lose weight is because I wanted to look better, I wanted to feel better, I wanted to be healthier and also live longer. Which I know seems really like you wanted to live longer, but if you are healthier and you have a healthy lifestyle, you will live longer and that's just another thing to be grateful for and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up Comment down below what other videos you guys want to see from me and make sure to subscribe to my channel and be looking out for some more workout videos from me. Bye guys, I'll see you in my next video.